Welcome to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. I want to say uh, welcome to all of my new subscribers and hello to all of you who have been following me for some time now. Um, today I've got a special journal to share with you. Um, by the time this is posted, this will have gone out to the person it's, it's supposed to go to. Um, I created this um, for somebody very special, and uh, you guys will all know her, Angela Kerr. Uh, I'm very overdue in uh, having um, made this for Angela. I've been in the works, you know, for a while, but other things have come up, and it's so, yeah, this is long overdue. <laughs> uh, Angela's just been a great, great friend to me, and um, just a real... Uh, just a, a great person, and I appreciate her, and um, I hope that she knows that. So uh, let's just get started. This is, of course, the Prima Lavender um, Paper Kit, and I've added this old doily, and then I've layered lots of lace with papers and things, and added this little girl with uh, a book plate here. And just more trims on the front there, So, and then this is the side view of it. And uh, I hope Angela doesn't mind that I, I chose my favorite colors. Um, but I just love this paper pack so much. And uh, I know that she likes pastels as well. So, so here we go inside. Um, made a little coin envelope here on the front. And that just opens up where she can add something to it. I've decoupaged this little uh, napkin with the kitten on there and he's looking at the lavender and probably wishing it was catnip but <laughs> uh, and then I've stitched uh, all around that added a little bit of embossed paper so that's tucked in here and then on this page I've just uh, some lace and some more little snippets and then this is just a little journal card that I made tucked in that pocket this is a double pocket here and then just a bit of ephemera. Did some stenciling on the back there. Um, and just added some muslin and some uh, linen thread. So over here, um, I've embossed this little flower onto that tag for her. And another little lavender. Uh, tag. I've done some stenciling and some book page, and and this is just like a double pocket here that's in, been embossed, and uh, and then I just love this image. This is out of one of the Reader's Digest garden books, but I think they're so pretty. Um, so I've just added that to that tag and tucked that in this second pocket here. Well, actually, there's three pockets on this page, and then here I've done a little snippet with. Add a little bell and then this little uh, charm. Everything's been tea dyed in here. And then here I've made a belly band, added some um, old buttons here. And then this flips over so she's got some extra writing space. Uh, and then on this one I've got a double pocket here, uh, well a pocket here and then I've added the um, stitch slots and I've added a couple of that's a uh, journal card and then I made this little tiny little tag and then these bits of ephemera I've backed with some tea dyed paper and then this little stamped tag and then just a little tiny ticket that I stamped and then just added another little bit of writing paper. So I'm hoping she'll like this. Um, like I said, it should have should have been ready before now, but it's just life has just been so crazy. Another uh, handmade tag here. Did some stamping. And then over here I've made this little stencil tag. She can do some writing there. I tried to add a lot of stenciling throughout. 
And then here I've got the Edith Holden book page stitch. And I created a tuck spot on the back. And then I made this little uh, window tag. And then another little snippet here with another bell. Because I love to hear the bells when you're flipping through the journals. Um, this page is an old uh, 1906 ledger that I've turned into a little pocket there. I stamped this little tag. And then here I've just created a little extra scrappy notebook for her to, to do some write, secret writing in there. And that's tucked into this little collaged uh, tuck spot there. And then this is another little did some stamping up here, and I made this journal card for her, and uh, added some old lace there. And this actually <coughs> flips over as, as well. I've done more stenciling. I love that stencil. So here I've made another pocket, and I've forgotten there's a, ta a tag that goes in there. And then in the center here, I've got some little butterflies. I've done some collaging here with book old um, receipt, some of the paper left over, and some lace. And then I've done a little negative uh, die cut, turned that into a little journal card. And this is an old... Um, sewing book page. But I love the colors. I thought it went with this really nice. And then here we've got a tag. I'll glue that down. I didn't see that. I love these little um, Tim Holtz wildflowers and I know Angela likes those as well. So, so that tag up back to a tea dyed paper and I add a little button up there and then this tucks in here I did some collage in there and then that flips over so she's got some writing space there as well and then here <coughs> I've just done another little cluster snippet down there another little tuck spot here and some flowers and then this is just a little envelope and inside I just added a couple of little journal cards that she can use. And that's all been stamped and, uh, so she can move that around in the journal if she wants to. Some more stenciling here and then um, here I've taken the the negative to that and I created another tag using that and then this is <clears throat> has been backed with tea dyed paper as well and done some stenciling so she could do some extra writing in there as well over here another double pocket um, and a couple of other little tags um, from that Prima kit that I've tucked in there, stitched around this pocket, added some little trim there. And then here I uh, just ran across this. This was some of the trim I purchased from Hobby Lobby a couple years back and uh, it got buried. So <laughs> I've just discovered that and I thought oh, this is just perfect. So I tucked a little bit of that there so she's got those dangles. And then here I've got another little snippet with another, um, this is a handmade uh, little embellishment I've made from um, some of, hmm, this was their Artie Mays and Tracy Fox collaboration, I believe that was the, I believe that came out of that Nature's Remedy kit. And I made those one day in the back of it. So that's been uh Oh, the Dazzling Diamond on there. And then here I made, <coughs> out of this doily, I made a little flip over. So if she wanted to do some writing there, she could. 
And then um, here I've got uh, Edith Holden book page uh, that I've turned into a tag and then stenciled on the back. And this some extra paper that I stamped, tucked in there. And then a little stamped tag that's been tucked in here and added some, some more of the um, dies and this has been embossed. And on the back here I've created one of the waterfall uh, writing spaces so she's got all of this area she can write on as well. And then that's the back of the journal. So there it is. I wanted to um, get this videoed before I ship this out to her and I do hope she enjoys it and uh, I, I really enjoyed making this for her. Um, she's just, just a really, really sweet, sweet person. And uh, I'm just sorry it's so late, Angela. <laughs> but I think you know by now I'm, I'm, I'm always behind, always behind. But there it is, guys. That's my journal I wanted to share with you. I hope everybody is safe and well, and I'll be back very soon. Take care.